Hey guys, I figured I'd make this video because I just fed my snake and uh, I feed them in this bin. You're not supposed to feed them in their cage because, you know, then you reach in and they tend to like think it's feeding time and they might bite you and stuff. So this is like his feeding bin. I put the mouse in here, I put him in here. Bam. So he killed it and then I looked away for a second and I didn't even notice. He ran out and ran under the couch. So I figured I'd use this video as a video, this as a video opportunity on how to move big items with, you know, a disability. I pretty much used my chair. I mean, to pull it out, it was easy, but to push it back in, it's different. It's like, I use my caster and my wheel. Ugh. Use your chair a lot. And like, you don't push like that because you'll roll out of the way. You get sideways and you push. Because, you know, you won't move sideways. But pretty much to go back in, it's a little bit harder to get back in. Like, Just use your chair, you know, your, your tires grip. Where I use this part to push it, don't push in your toes. It's kind of like not good. So this is how you do shit without asking for help. Um, I'm about to use my toes with this. Or like, see, I can use my bed and this is apart. And you know, you gotta have a little bit, I mean, I'm not saying I'm strong or nothing, but you do have to have a little bit of strength. Don't use your toes. I, want, I kind of want to, but I'm just the edge wheel. Had to get the vacuum out because I was like, damn, there's a bunch of stuff under there. Might as well vacuum it. Get this lined up. See, I had the, the bin right here, and as I saw him going over the edge of it, and I yelled, no! As soon as I did that, he he heard me, and he slithered the out, and just ran under there, so I had to, I'm not going to leave him under there all night, but alright. Hopefully this helps, people. Thanks. Like and subscribe.